Suppose a consumer has preferences where utility equals ax squared plus by squared. Let's sketch out some of these indifference curves. Well, the first thing we want to figure out is if our indifference curve has a positive or a negative slope. If both marginal utilities are positive, then this indifference curve is going to have a negative slope. So the marginal utility of x, which is the partial derivative of utility with respect to x, is 2ax. Now this is positive for any positive values of x and y that I substitute in. I find the marginal utility of y by taking the partial derivative of utility with respect to y, and in this case that gives me 2by. This is also positive for any positive x and y that I could plug in. So, since both marginal utilities are positive, we know our indifference curve slopes down. The next thing we figure out is whether or not the indifference curves cross either axis. So if x is 0, we're looking to see if it crosses the y axis. I plug in 0 for x, and I find out that there is a value for utility. That tells me it will cross the y axis. Now, if y equals 0, I'm looking for whether or not it crosses the x axis. I plug in 0 for y, and utility is ax squared, which is a positive value, so I know I will cross the x axis. So yes, this indifference curve actually crosses both x and y axis. The third thing we look for is whether or not the marginal rate of substitution is diminishing. Now the marginal rate of substitution is the ratio of the marginal utility of x to the marginal utility of y. We just calculated the marginal utility of x and the marginal utility of y, so we can plug that in. 2ax over 2by, and simplifying, we have ax over by. So this is the rate at which I'm willing to give up y to get one more unit of x. Now, as x gets larger, what's happening to the MRS? I like to use the arrows, so in this case, x is in my numerator, and if my numerator is getting larger, then my entire expression is getting larger. So in this case, the marginal rate of substitution is increasing, and that tells us the indifference curves are bowed out. So we have a negative slope, it intersects both axes, and it is bowed out.